Tonight, the Navy sailors facing drug charges in Groton are speaking only to News 8. The arrest happened at a naval housing unit. The sailors are telling their version of what happened to News 8's Tina Detel. Ash, can we talk with you? Just wondering what happened. Eight people arrested in what we are learning is alleged drug use by sailors at the submarine base in Groton. Civilians and sailors arrested, but not just any sailors. MAs, naval law enforcement. Sometimes, you know, there's a few bad apples and a bunch of good apples. Four of those supposed bad apples charged with attempting to buy hallucinogens, but as many as 20 more are being investigated. One who wants to remain anonymous is talking only to News 8. These people never did drugs before the Navy. This sailor says his fellow security officers were pressured into using drugs by their supervisor, who was one of two sailors picked up by Groton police Monday night for possession of marijuana. They were cited but not arrested, and this sailor believes that supervisor is now turning in the officers he turned on to drugs. I felt pressured to go along with them, and so did the majority of the people that are implicated in this. Those superiors have also apparently ratted out their drug dealers. 23-year-old Travis Haught, one of four Rhode Island residents arrested at Navy Housing. Police say he had more than two ounces of MDMA or Molly's and 100 doses of LSD ready for delivery. Well, you could be risking a lot talking to us. Uh, I'm risking a lot and, it, you know, at, at this point, I don't care what happens to me. I, these are my friends. For two years, they've been my friends. And the last year is when he started pushing this on us. This sailor admits he did wrong by taking the drugs, but wants to get the whole story out. In Groton, Tina Detell, News 8.